is the plants and the vegetables, but it's also the really pretty stuff. Leanne Allaire Perot has some of that pretty stuff. I mean, you can do it all, literally. Now you've brought concrete into the mix. <laughs> concrete. Which is really popular yes. for your, you know, outdoor objects and all of that. But you did a DIY planter. I did. These. And these are them, this little collection. And you, to look beautiful. at them, they look, I, I'm pretty proud of them, I have to oh say. Oh my God, they're gorgeous. But let me tell you, they're beautiful. They're actually really easy. Like, really? crazy easy. Now, okay. I, I don't particularly love working with concrete all the time because it's one of those you never know what you're going to get when yes. you unveil it because a lot of the times you're working with a liquid formation and as it settles there could be cracks and bubbles. Mm. I found this product. Mm -hmm. It's called Shapecrete. Okay. It works like clay so you can mold it so you oh. see the end result. So it's no pouring. You don't have to build forms. Okay. We're going to make these so simply. Now, yeah. I've already mixed, yes, I've got you some snazzy gloves to put on. They're like the prettiest gloves I've ever had. <laughs> They're so nice. You need some good, thick rubber gloves for this yeah. and not the, the flimsy latex gloves, something nice and thick. Okay. Now, the ratio that I've already mixed is four parts of the shape creep. You, you don't even have to necessarily measure. It's not necessarily one cup, just however much you put in four parts of the shape creep to one part of water. Got it. And the goal is, now, when you're mixing it from the dry formation, you want to start a little with a little bit of wet in the bottom of your pot first, mm -hmm. add in a little bit of the dry, it's back and forth, back and forth. Wear a mask and glasses when you're working with the loose concrete fiber. That so, stuff will, that dust absolutely. will come right out. But since it's all nice and wet now, I've got mm -hmm. the mask off and glasses off. Now, the goal with this, when you're mixing, is you want to do a ball test. Okay. You want to be able to shape it into a ball, and it can, like, slightly sag, but you don't want it running through your fingers. Okay. So this, so to me, there. is perfect. And if you've mixed it and you go, oh, it's still really saggy or it's still really, like, really watery, just add a little bit more of the concrete mixture. Got it. So now what we're going to do, when you're a kid, did you ever make mud pies? Always. Yes. That's, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to slap some on the table. So all together. All together. Let's make a giant mud pie. I'm going to put all of this. This is the fun in part. Here. This is super fun and super easy. And the one thing I want to point out is what I'm actually putting this on. So I went out to the fabric store and mm -hmm. picked up, you know that um, the picnic the tabletop oh, yes, material. Yes, yes, like vinyl. It's kind of cloth on one side, yes, yes, and vinyl on the other, so yeah. it's water resistant, waterproof. Nice. We're gonna make like a nice pie here. We're gonna like make it. This stuff is a great consistency. You're right, it is sort of like clay, but you wouldn't it believe that it's concrete. Exactly. And what you're gonna go for is anywhere from, you can go thicker to an inch. Yeah. I like about a half an inch. And then just a little tip, if you have a paint stick, I like nice. just going around the edge. And this by no means needs to be perfect. That's kind of the beauty of concrete. Yeah, but it almost is. Does that mean we're crazy geniuses? Look at Pretty it. Much. Like that is a good little <laughs> we have going on. I know. and the super Super fast That's and amazing. easy, right? So give it a nice little tap. This is where like Do we need these yet. You know what? We hold on to Not those because okay. we'll definitely need them in a second. Now right. I just went to the dollar store and picked up a bunch of random bowls to make the different sizes, just the Malamine bowls. Okay. So now here's the magic. So you're gonna help me. Okay. We're gonna grab the four corners. Yep. We're gonna lift this. We're gonna move it on top of the bowl. Yep. And just drop it in like a butter tart. Got basically. it. See, I okay. understand everything if you relate it to food. Now, <laughs> we, when you fold the edges around, yeah. you can see that there's some cracks. Mm -hmm. That's easily fixed. You want to grab a little bit of water, okay. and you just heal the cracks by giving a little spritz. Okay. Exactly, and just use your finger and go around. And this is where it's so nice that it's still pliable in this container here. Yeah, nice. That you can make it as perfect or as imperfect as, as you, want, you want, as it. you choose. Now, time for the chopsticks. Okay, chopstick, All right. please. Dr. Here Tracy. you go. Take the end of a chopstick. Yeah. I'm going to hold this up to the camera. And you're just going to make a little drainage hole right okay. in the bottom. Just okay. an important little tip because yeah. we definitely want to be putting some plants in there. If you're doing this as a decorative interior bowl, that's fine. You don't need it, obviously. Yeah. But uh, for safe measure, do that. Now, this is the most important tip of all of this. And people think I'm crazy yes. for doing this. Concrete, most people will put concrete out in the sun to dry right. it. Don't do that. No. It's going to crack. You're going to dry it out too quickly. Oh. When you're working with a concrete product, to cure the concrete properly, you actually need to do something called the hydration process and give it water. So oh. this is where we're going to take a little bit of plastic. Yeah. We're going to cover it up just loosely. And we're going to tuck this away for 24 hours. 
and that's it. Okay, and so you're going to notice some moisture locked in. And you're there. locking in the moisture that's going to help the concrete cure. You're going to notice that there's beading, and you're going to be inclined to want to go in and wipe it off. Don't. Don't that's do the it. magic sauce in there. Oh, Leave it alone. Okay. That's exactly what we want. Don't now, touch the magic. I made sauce. a little one yesterday, so mm -hmm. I will take the plastic off here. And this is kind of like Christmas. How long does it usually take to dry? 24 hours. 24 hours. These are ready the next day. Okay. And you basically reveal. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, oh, that is awesome. Just ever so lightly. Yes. You can use a concrete sealer with this, but what I used was this awesome exterior, interior exterior metallic product. It's metallic accents. Nice. So you can actually paint, as you can see, the entire outside of it. Or I love in the big one, just the subtle edges there. Yes. Or if you really want to be artsy, only highlight the imperfections. I kind oh. of love that juxtaposition. So if you yeah, have a, a crack idea. or a bubble, embrace it and yeah. add a little bit of that kind of gold leaf finish there. It looks yes. gorgeous. You can sell gorgeous these, by finish. the way. They are that good. Like, people would spend a lot of money I for these. I will take offers. Think about, right? <laughs> or think about, you know, Mother's Day. Any of the occasions coming up, this is a beautiful gift. Um, and you know what? She'll actually use it. And you know what? Can I just point out? <laughs> she won't hide it in the recycling bin. Talking, because I'm a cost-effective person, yeah. the whole tub was about $40. I haven't even used a a third of it to make everything here. So Amazing. you can make a ton of these planters so yes. affordably and gift to everyone.